restoring the middle class? What, you know, what's important? How, how would you do it? How would you go about solving that problem? Yes, it's a, it's a very complex issue. And one thing we need to, we need to address what the concerns of the people are right now. There's a lot of things we can do in legislation that aren't being done that can be pro-worker as opposed to pro-employer. We, uh, the people are very frustrated. They're working two, three jobs just to make ends meet. American workers on the whole are most productive than they've ever been, but their, their wages are stagnating. We need to find a way to make sure that they're being paid a fair day's pay for a fair day's work. When, um, when we talk about the middle class, we can't just talk about money, though. It comes down to a lifestyle. And I think uh, having paid sick and family leave is just as important, and having paid vacations so you can spend time with that family are, are important things we need to add to the discussion of increasing the, the wage. There's Right now, there's a, there's a problem with overtime that, that's being ad that needs to be addressed that's coming forward. A lot of people don't think too much about overtime. They kind of take it for granted. We forget that in the turn of the 19th to 20th century, that type of idea was not, even a, was not even a concept. Overtime was something very strange and brought to in 1938 by the Fair Labor Standards Act. And it, it helped people not only get overtime, but get paid within a certain amount of time. They have to get paid within a week of that overtime worked. They have to get paid for that overtime. Um, what they're, what they're trying to do right now is there's a Working Families uh, Flexibility Act that the Trump administration and the Republicans in Congress are trying to push through. That instead of getting overtime, they're going to be getting paid comp time. They will still be getting an hour and a half comp time, but instead of money. Some people may say, well, that's very good. Then now they can spend more time with their families. Now they can, they can uh, you know, be more flexible. But the problem with that is, is that now uh, there, there, are no, there are no guarantees that they're going to get their comp time when they need it. If there is, an, there is a provision within that act, if it unduly distresses the company, that the company can, can, can uh, wait to put that at, at the end of the year, which, which brought, brings a, on a whole other question of, of getting paid on time, getting the comp, that, the comp time when you need it. Um, when overtime was first initiated in 1938 with the Fair Labor Standards Act, it, it was set to only be with, to a certain type of person, a certain type of worker, not management, not anybody um, who had any type of wage, uh, anybody who could, who could hire or fire where they could determine. And, and they, um, they would, uh, this was determined over 79 years ago and it's been updated along the years. 2004, Bush did update the, uh, the um, to index it better with inflation. And this is what Obama attempted to do last year as well. He attempted to uh, raise, uh, it, it was originally uh, 450, you could qualify for overtime at $455 a week or $23,600 a year. Those people could qualify for overtime and under. Um, Obama in 2016 wanted to update that to $913 a week and $46,000 a year. Unfortunately, that, that was stopped by an injunction by a, uh, with a, a judge in Texas, along with 21 other states and business leaders. For, and now that overtime update is now dead. So this is, this, is, this is the problem that a lot of people don't realize that there is a fight. There is a, there is a war on workers in this, in this country. And we have to be aware of this, that it's happening and that the Democrats are the ones that are trying to help 